Boulevard's End is a short documentary film that focuses on a particular location in the city of Los Angeles, the Venice Pier, which is where the Washington Boulevard ends and the city meets the Pacific Ocean. What fascinated the director most about this pier was its roughness, but also simplicity, and how this is counterbalanced by the openness and diversity of the people who often visit the pier, to have a walk, to fish, and to relax, and how all of these aspects contribute to an ambience of stillness and tranquility. The idea behind the film was to take a closer look at the diverse people who often spend their time at the pier, people from all types of social statuses, race, and age, but without actually applying the usual approach of having them talk to the camera. The idea was basically more to create something that's kind of like a portrait rather than a document. However, when they started filming, some interesting and unexpected things started happening. At a given moment, the film crew was approached by an elderly German man who overheard them speaking the respective language. He revealed himself to be a Holocaust survivor who had spent five years of his adolescence in the Buchenwald concentration camp, which was one of the first and largest of its kind. So of course the film crew decided to interview him. And what do you know, not only were they lucky enough to have met a holocaust survivor, which is something that unfortunately is becoming increasingly rare, but it turns out that the man is good friends with a woman, someone who also spends a lot of her time at the pier, who had survived 9-11. So taking that into consideration, it was obvious that they were going to decide to interview her as well. And they are the two main people who not only appear in the film, but also talk over a lot of its parts. But it is never actually revealed which of the many people they filmed are actually them. But it makes for a good guessing game to try and figure out which is the person the voice actually belongs to. And But if you pay close enough attention to how and what they are talking about, it isn't that difficult to figure out. It's quite amazing how this little film came to be, and how sometimes pure reality can be a lot more surprising and fascinating than fiction. All of the shots are fixed, and that elegantly conveys the mood of this place, which resonates so well with what these people are talking about, especially the man, who is talking about uh, like how much he cherishes life and how grateful he is for every single day he's got. And that resonates so well with this place, which is indeed the kind of place where you go to free yourself from your problems, where you go to be in the moment and enjoy the moment. This little documentary really makes you want to discover more about these people's personal journeys. And despite its simplicity, it's also very detailed. I mean, I've seen it three times already, but every time I found myself discovering new things, things I didn't notice before. So it's definitely worth re-watching as well. I think that's the best thing I can say about it really, is that it, that it has such rewatchability value, it's amazing. So that's it folks, thanks for watching, I appreciate it as always, and I guess I will see you later.